Hello students, welcome back to Joshua Planet. In this session, we will be learning one more important question from the chapter Electricity. The most repeated question again asked many times. So the question is advantages of parallel combination or the same question can be asked in a different way that is disadvantages of series combination. So in order to answer this question, you should first learn what do you mean by parallel combination and what do you mean by series combination. And again, you know here, this is the series combination in the sense when you take two or more electrical appliances. So when you take two or more electrical appliances and when you are connecting all the appliances with a single wire. So you are connecting here, I am connecting to a cell. So the cell is connected to device 1 and then the, uh, the left out end of this device 1 is connected to device 2 and similarly device through uh, the 3 and then the connection goes back to the cell. So this is called as series combination. And if you see parallel combination, you can see here there are three devices connected with two, two different wires. So here for device 1, you have two terminals separately, whereas for device 2 and device 3, again you have two, two separate terminals, all of them connected together for one cell, but they have two different terminals, whereas here they have same terminal, plus and minus for all the three is same. So now whenever you connect devices like this, which one is more beneficial when you connect the devices in series or in parallel? Of course the answer is parallel combination. When you connect two or more devices in parallel combination, then the devices will work efficiently. So this is the combination that works out well. So that is the answer. Again the question also is asked same. What are the advantages of parallel combination? So when you ask like that, how will you explain? How is the parallel combination advantages for us? You will answer it like this. So you can represent your answer in two different points. The first point reads C. The working of other electrical appliances will not be affected if any one of them stops working. So now if you take in parallel combination, say suppose device 2 got breakdown so that the device 2 is not working properly so because device 2 is not working properly device 1 and device 3 will not be affected they will run as is right so there will be no effects uh, affected parts of device 1 and device 3 whereas in case of series if you say say suppose device 2 is affected it is broken down there the circuit what happens is it will not be complete the circuit is broken down Therefore, the current that is passing like this will not pass to the next device, right? So, because the circuit become incomplete, all the devices will stop working. So, this is one of the disadvantages of series and advantages of parallel. So, again, the same point is represented in series combination. You can check that if a circuit breaks due to any defect in one of the devices, then what will happen? then the other devices also will stop working. So that will be the first point. Now the second point. What does the second point say? In parallel each device will get the same potential and therefore they can draw required current from the main and therefore they will work efficiently. In the sense see the parallel combination you have three different devices which is getting equal current from the main. Right? So they are getting equal current and therefore they are not dependent on another one and they will work efficiently. So they are not altered. So therefore operation of these three will be easy. Therefore work also will be uh, efficient by these devices. Whereas when you take the series disadvantages, the same point is written in series as disadvantage that is same current flows in all the devices therefore they cannot operate efficiently since the same current again the first first point also tells the same so if the current or the device is broken down the same current is not flowing in all the devices also see now the de device 1 is getting more current device 2 is getting a little less device 3 again even more lesser so whatever device 1 and 2 uses and leaves device 3 is getting the other one therefore they won't get equal current each one of them will get different current therefore the devices will not work efficiently so this is how you will represent the answer